so I've been very adamant in the past about IRL streamers and how I think that they are the lowest of lows when it comes to streamers. Now, I'm not saying every single one of them. There are some IRL streamers out there who even I think that they make great content. But majority of the IRL streamers out there are just a complete fucking joke. Them and their content are a complete joke. And it, to me, it's like all they try to do the whole entire time that they are alive is try to bring up and try to do as much controversial shit as they can. And they also seem to like to film every single part about their life. Now, there's this clip that's been going around for, I'd say, last 24 hours by the time that this video is getting uploaded. Now, a little bit of backstory about this lady and about this live stream. If you have already seen the clip, you probably already know kind of the, the gist of what this video is going to be about and what it's going to show. But if you don't know the backstory of this, is that supposedly she is dating this guy. And I've also heard that he is some kind of billionaire as well. That he's like, I'm not sure if he's exactly a billionaire, but I've heard that he's very well off, at least from what I've seen of what people are saying on the internet and like, you know, some pages that have been posting about it saying like, oh, apparently this guy's like a massive billionaire and he's pretty rich. But she had apparently caught him cheating on her. And what do you do when someone cheats on you? Do you try to resolve this privately and confront them directly in private? Well, I mean, that's what the normal person would do. But after finding out this information, what does this Elisa Jordana do? Well, she has the great fucking idea to go live. He lied and he's told her. Like, he told her I'm just, like, a streamer and it was just an investment. And, like, the whole time he was talking to me, he was talking to her. The whole time. The whole time. And I saw everything that he said to her. It's all the same shit he said to me. And he's just, a, he's just like, a bad guy. He's not, like, the type of guy that's, like, a faithful guy. And when, when he liked me the most... When, when he liked me the most, he was, like, cheating on me with her. With this, like, 20, 20 fucking, 20 year old like... Like whore, like horror that that sends videos and shit. And I don't know what it is about these people. I don't know how in their brains when you are going through something traumatic and going through a breakup is not a fucking good thing. Like, obviously, she's going through a breakup. This is what what this is, like, at least seemed out, out to be. Like, she's going to end it with him. And he cheated on her. I mean, I've never been cheated on personally, and I've never cheated on someone, but I have seen people who have been cheated on, and it is fucking heartbreaking. Of course it is to find out your partner has cheated on you, but what part of your brain goes... Let me boot up this as a live stream. Let me let me stream this shit because this is going to be fucking great. And she's streaming for a while. She's driving in the car. And I just want to say that her driving is fucking terrible. If you go back, if you because it's still on her channel. The whole entire life, I'm surprised that she has not taken this down. While at the same time, I, I kind of am like, you know, not surprised that she's left it up at the same time because, you know, it is her most viewed live stream at this point in time. It's like all of it, her second most popular live stream has got like, a, like I, think, I think like a couple 10,000 views where this one's got like over 100,000 or it, it probably at this point, it's probably got even more views to that. So she's probably like soaking up all the ad revenue and subs off this whole entire live stream. But in this live stream, she's fucking driving like a nutcase. At one point, she's sitting in a mall for some reason. And then, then... Finally, we get to the boyfriend with this guy. She finally picks him up in the car and at first they're having like a little dispute You can obviously see she starts crying. She's no she's getting emotional about it and things escalate Even further than them two just arguing and going back and forth at each other where she starts to fucking swing at this man And I'm not talking about like a little like a like a little bitchy slap or a little like oh my god You're just or a little no she fucking swings at him and you would think that, you know, they'd pull out, she'd pull over to stop this, and that he would just kind of get out of the car and fuck off. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This man decides to fucking fight back. You know, different sentences that he... Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Idiot. Uh, yes, sir, we're really sorry about this and sending him your way today. Fucking... Uh, so, don't worry. Happy I'm gonna... Happy She's happy your age. Delete the number, please. Ow! Ow! Pull over, dumb cunt. Okay. Pull over, dumb cunt. No, ow, ow! No, no, please don't, don't. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over. Okay, I will. Pull over, dumb okay, cunt. Please, please, please. Ah! No, I'm sorry. No, call 911, Sarah. Call 911. No, 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 no. Help. Help, please, please. I'm call sorry. Call 911. Please, I'm 
so sorry. Please let oh, me you're out. sorry, right? Get the fuck okay, out. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. He's killing me. Now, one thing that I've said a lot on the internet about what people are saying about these clips that have been going around uh, of the two pair, and one thing that I definitely have to agree with, and you know, we're going to discuss in this video, is like, who who went too far? Who's in the wrong here? Well, according to the justice system at the moment, she is, because there's a mugshot of this lady that's actually been going around within the past, like, days, like, not long after this has come out, which is probably one of the other reasons why she hasn't been able to take this live stream down, but she has supposedly gotten arrested, because she assaults him, and, you know, according to the law, especially in America, I know that the, like, the law here in Australia is a bit shitter when it comes to self-defense, but especially in America, self-defense is a massive thing, and if someone swings at you, someone hits you first, you have every right to fucking go back and swing back, and that is absolutely fine. Now, you can say that maybe he did take it too far. Maybe he, like, you know, was a little bit too violent with her, but, I mean, if someone hits you, you have every fucking right to hit it back. Doesn't matter what they are. Doesn't matter who they are. Doesn't matter how old they are. If someone throws hands at you, you have every fucking right to throw your hands back at it. So that man was just sticking up for himself, for self-defense. Now, he's not completely in the right. No, he did cheat on his girlfriend. And you know what? Her initial reaction of her crying and her, like, you know, obviously getting emotional about all this stuff and her, you know, kind of yelling a little bit. That's kind of expected. I mean, she did get cheated on. But at the same time, I feel like if someone cheats on you, that still doesn't mean that you should go ahead and throw hands at them. Like, if anything, you're going to come out on the wrong side of this. And that's actually what seems to happen to her. Is that at first, like everyone seemed to be on her side. Like, oh my God, this guy cheated on her. Like, how could he? Like, that's so wrong. And he was blah, blah, blah. And then when she started throwing hands, the whole entire fucking internet is against this woman. I have never seen the internet turn on the girl who's been cheated. Whenever someone get, got, has gotten cheated on in the past, like on the internet, it's been an internet celebrity, when they're, whether they've been like massive or just some random person on the internet that not many people know of, is that whenever someone gets cheated on, the whole entire internet is on their side. This will have to be one of the first times where the whole entire internet is just like, fuck this bitch. What the hell? She started throwing hands. Now, nah, get her, lock her up. This man had every right to fight back. And that's 100% fair enough. Like I said, that's fine. If someone decides to throw hands at you, you have every fucking right to throw hands back at them. Now, I'm not sure if this guy himself will, like, get any charges or anything like that. There's not been any, like, you know, mugshots or any information come out about him. Only her. The fact that, she's like, a mugshot of her has been going around. And supposedly that this is a re it, this is related to this story. I'm not, I don't think, at least from what I've seen on the internet, that it's not unrelated from this story. But, man, what is it with people that whenever they get in situations like this... That they decide to fucking film themselves. What part of her brain at the start of the stream decided to go, I'm crying, I'm going through an existential crisis right now with my boyfriend. He's supposedly cheating on me. I'm going to live stream this. What part of her fucking brain thought that that would be a good idea? Because it obviously has seemed to have backfired on her. And you know what? I'm all here for it. Because, I mean... It's gotten me content, and it has been fucking hilarious. But I'd like to hear what you guys have to think about this down below. That's it from me, guys. Peace out.